Welcome to TechLeg video tutorials. Uh, today's video, I'm going to give you one of the issue which we are facing in uh, self-hosted integration runtime when we are connecting on-premises file systems. Okay, so if you are connecting any database, uh, you, we won't see any issues uh, when we are connecting on-premises uh, systems using self-hosted integration runtime. But when we are connecting through file, local file system, we are getting some issues with the latest integration runtime. Consider if you are using a self-hosted integration runtime and old integration runtime, we don't see those issues. But if when you go with a recent integration runtimes, we are observing some issues. We are observing some issues. So let me show you first uh, my Oracle databases. I stopped. I'll start the service. I'll, uh, this is the Oracle database. I stopped intentionally. Then I'll uh, start this service. Okay, now it is a starting. Once the database is available, then we can connect. This Oracle database service intentionally stopped to show you that. Now you see Oracle database, it's connecting. Same self-hosted integration runtime. But when we go to the file, local file system, consider this is the file system. Whenever you are trying to connect on-premises file systems, uh, latest integration runtime is raising issues. If you click on this uh, more detail, you see not allowed. It is raising not allowed. Whenever you see this not allowed, or maybe IP address issue, sometimes even we see IP address issue. So if you go with the local host, then E drive, E drive, then we see some issues with the uh, same. So it's a issue with the file system validation. When it is connecting on-premises file system, you see this, not allowed. The reason here it is simple. Even if you go to the self-hosted integration runtime, diagnosis, if you click on view logs, if you click on view logs, you can verify the logs as well. Uh, if you click on this error, right? There you can see this. Enable local mission access from online on-premises. Similarly, disable local folder path validation. So we need to disable this. By default, this will be enabled. We need to disable this one. So how to disable this? So enable local mission, open PowerShell, open PowerShell with administrator user, with administrator user. So once you open with administrator user, once you open with administrator user, then change the directory to uh, your self-hosted integration runtime. Inside that, you can find a version. Then inside that, shade. So go to this location, copy this location, then change directory to that in a double quote because the spaces are available in a path. Now here, we need to execute one command we need to execute one command that the command is available here this is dmg cmd dmg cmd then disable local so by default this will be enabled we need to disable local folder path validation local folder if you are not uh, uh, clear with the uh, exact api name so here you can go and copy paste this you say this disable local folder path validation so i'll run it again so we are disabling local folder path validation. So the latest integration runtime, when we are accessing on-premises file system, it is validating the file path. By default, it is enabled. So it is not allowing that path to access that. Now we disable that local folder path validation. Now we go to self-hosted integration runtime in the link service, local file system link service. So you can use a, local host or directly you can use a path 
even consider I want to co connect this, have some files in this E drive. Just to copy paste this drive location. How successful. Even when you go to here, even E drive, particular location. So we disable local folder path validation. Now we are able to connect. What we did, we've opened a PowerShell. PowerShell as administrator user. Remember that administration user, admin user. Once you open that, change the path to self-hosted integration runtime. Install this location. It will be in uh, program files, Microsoft uh, integration runtime version shared. So this location, you need to change the path. CD, the path in a double quote because the spaces are available in a path. Then now you can run this. So DMG, CMD. Then disable. So if you're not aware of this, then if you enter, then it will give you that exact API name. So this way, which we can, this is a command which we can disable local path validation. So we can copy paste this. this one. So this is about how to fix that uh, local file system, the path error that is coming from latest integration runtime. Earlier it is not coming. So we are getting only with the latest integration runtime. So this is about uh, today's video. If you like this video, please like and share. See you in another video. Thank you.